All right, guys. So today I'm going to explain um, how I got a perfect accent in French, right? So I learned French when I was 16 years old, and uh, yeah, and right now I'm 20. So it's been like four years since I've like basically um, learned French, and I basically learned it as a teen, and I learned it from scratch, right? So, um, and I'm going to explain how I was able to obtain a near perfect accent in French. If you guys don't believe me, bah, je peux pas foncer maintenant. Euh, et en fait, euh, le truc, c'est qu'en fait, euh, mon père, euh, il m'a vraiment aidé euh, à parler français, tu vois, parce qu'en en fait, euh, mon daron, il est en fait, euh, il, il est français. Mais euh, je viens de commencer, tu vois, juste il y a 4 ans. Et je pense que c'était... Je pense que ça m'a vraiment aidé à, avec, euh, avec la prononciation la prononciation, tu vois, et, et l'accent, tout ça, c'est euh, vraiment, euh, ouais, et, et, et c'était vraiment, euh, c'était vraiment dur, euh, d'abord, euh, c'était vraiment, euh, c'était dur de parler français, mais après, euh, c'était, maintenant, c'est fluide, et ouais, so, yeah, guys, like, you know, back then, when I was, like, speaking French, like, I couldn't really speak, like, the, the, the sounds, right, you know, I was, I was, like, struggling so much on, like, how to do it, right, And uh, yeah, that was like one of the main reasons that like, you know, um, you know, I, I actually did start from scratch, right? Like, you know, I was trying to, you know, say the words like R, like the R, R, R like the, the French R sound, like when they say rouge or, you know, when they say, um, when they say Paris, they say Paris, Paris, and it's like a light, uh, uh, it's like a Paris and not uh, a rouge. Cause like with, with rouge, with red, it's like, it's very deep. It's like rouge. On graille, on graille aujourd'hui là, on graille, you know, on graille, graille, you know, like, you know what I mean? It's like, there's like strong R's and there's like light R's. So there's like Paris, or it's like, you know, uh, and there's rouge, right? So there's like, it's kind of like learning how to do that. And also like the differences between like, uh, ou and the, ou, like, it's like, it's kind of like, actually, this is something I was struggling with like recently, but it was like how to say la, la rue, la rue est nu. So nu, nu, rue. So nu means like naked. La rue is like the road, right? La rue uh, in the nu. Uh, in, 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 la, la, see, even like me, sometimes I struggle with it. Like la rue, nu. But like if I can, but I, can, I, I was able to like very easily do that, right? Um, and get those correctly. And the same with the, with the word for um, girl in French is uh, une fille, une fille, right? And I had to have my uncle like correct me on this, right? And he kind of taught me how to pronounce it, but like, you know, because the way it's written, like, you you think that it's pronounced as une, une ville, like, just like une ville, right? Une ville, right, is like a, a village, a, a, I mean, a town, right, a city. Um, une ville, you know, it's like, it's written with two L's, but the same way it's written in, in w with a girl in French is actually pronounced differently. It's not une ville, it's, with the girl, it's une fille, une fille. So there's, there's a difference between le and i, like, une fille and not une fille. It's, it's not une fille, it's une fille. You know, and I think like that's one of the hardest things about French is like knowing the differences in pronunciation, like even though it's written the same. So like the word for, yeah, so th that's just some, one of the things that like trips you up, right, like crazy. And you know, there's just like a lot of complicated sounds like there's like un and so there, there's a difference between tu, like tu es, and uh, tu. So like, you know, u, so there's tu and tu, tu, tu. And there's difference between on, on, and o, like on o, on o, like on o, tu vois? And like, yeah, it's just like, it's so hard to say, guys. Like, you know, I, I don't know how I was able to like, kind of arrive at this, but basically what I did, guys, is I just immersed in French. So the short answer to this question, how do I obtain a perfect accent in French, is to literally just immerse yourself through only listening. So here's the key, guys. Only listening, all right? Do not freaking read, okay? Don't do any reading in French. I want you to deliberately avoid reading in French for the first two years or a year, right? And only focus on trying to understand the language through listening, okay? This is, the, this is where the key is. Because here's the thing, like if you read too early, you're going to inhibit your ability to be able to um, allow your ears to fully bloom. So the reason why I'm able to hear the differences between tu and tu, right, and all that, and why I can actually hear the sounds for une fille and une ville, like the differences between that, 
the, the reason why I'm able to tell the difference, okay, is just because I have my ears bloomed. Now, before it was all blurred, like, I remember, like, at first, like, French was all freaking blurred, like, I was like, oh my god, like, like, people were just, like, talking, like, blah, blah, blah. it was like a bunch of mumbling sounds, right? But the more immersed in French, the more YouTube videos I watched, and the more videos of, you know, French content that I ended up consuming, my ears were solely able to bloom. And by the way, you have to consume content without English subtitles. So it has to be raw content in French. You're literally no subtitles, no aid, and you're watching content on YouTube without any English subtitles or any aid. It has to be like that, guys. Otherwise, there's no reason for your brain to try to pattern recognize and decode the language and allow your ears to be able to hear the sound. There's no reason for your brain to process the information. This is, this is like linguistic processing, guys, okay? You're going to have to, you know, do this, right? And this is kind of what I did. You know, I basically just watched a bunch of YouTube videos that, by the way, I didn't understand at all at first. But because it's French, you can learn it very fast. Like with Japanese, like it'll take like way longer. Like it'll take like four times the amount. But at least with French, like, you know, at first, like, you know, maybe in the first three months or four months, like you're not going to understand like literally anything. Like you're going to have that period where you're like literally sitting down watching French TV shows and YouTube videos and you're going to be like, I don't understand anything. But dude, you have to keep going, okay? You have to make sure that you're progressing, you know, um, slowly. You will be like, you have to trust the process, guys. I know it's like hard. I know it's hard. I know you, you, you guys want to understand what they're saying and you can't understand it. And you're like, well, I don't understand it, but it's like boring. It's like, dude, you're going to suck it up, okay? Like if you want a perfect, if you want a perfect French accent and learn French, so I do it. And you have to deliberately avoid reading because reading inhibits your ability to get a perfect accent, okay? Like I said, if you learn the word for girl in French, through reading, you would read it as, oh, it's une fille. It's not une fille, it's une fille. Do you get the difference, bro? Like, you would be reading it on paper and you're like, ooh, it's pronounced as this. But no, it's, compl it's pronounced completely different. And you would not even know, you would not even know, bro. Like, I actually had to like, I actually, like, you know, had to catch that. Because I learned French in, I learned one year in French. I took one year of French classes in high school. And, and that kind of brainwashed me too. Like, you know, the reading brainwashed me a little bit. Because like, I knew how to read the word for une fille. But until I was immersing in French, like a lot, I didn't notice that, oh my god, like, you know, it's pronounced differently actually. Like, en fait. Like, la prononciation c'était différent. And c'était, it's, it's the same way with um, this word. Um, um, pronunciation in, in French is... La prononciation, I, pr I, I was pronouncing it as pronunciation. I was pronouncing it as prononciation before, avant. And then right now, I corrected it and now I pronounce it as la prononciation. La prononciation. So like, I didn't know that, guys. And, so, and you know, natives have to point that out to me for me to like get it. But like I said, like you're going to have certain cracks in your ability. But, you know, the reason why I was able to correct it really fast was because I was able to hear the differences between my mistakes you know when you can hear like perfectly how the way the french how, like the way the, the french language sounds like when someone corrects your mistakes you can actually end up hearing your mistakes so this is the key guys the reason why i tell you guys to listen only in the first you know couple years of you learning french and, and avoid reading is because you know you want to develop the native intuition of a uh, 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 french right when it comes to listening right when it comes to accent and pronunciation so you have to really make sure that you, you're doing this, you know? And when someone corrects your mistakes, like I said, you'll be able to automatically correct yourself. Like, you know, when you say something wrong, like, you know, um, like for, for the word um, la rue, like that's actually really hard, guys. Like la rue, like that's so hard to get, guys. I, I, don't, I don't know if you guys can get that, but like like the difference between uh, tu and tu uh, and uh, on, on and uh, Ooh, ooh, and uh, mm, it's like it's just like yeah guys like you're going to really have to listen a lot and then and eventually like when you actually try to speak to yourself you'll be able to auto correct yourself um and you know it, it just comes down with practice but the practice has to come down after all the years of immersion right so what i did was you know basically what i do is i'll try to pronounce the sounds and i'll have a native speaker like my dad he'll be correcting me on the side Right, so I'll be like trying to speak this, like you know, sound, and and then my dad will correct me on any flaws that I made in pronunciation specifically, not just on like grammar and stuff. Like we don't need to know that. We need to know just on the accent, right? He corrected me just on the accent, and with that, I was able to obtain a perfect accent, right? But here's the key: I was coupling this with immersion, 
right? And this is really important because if you don't do the immersion, if you don't bloom your ears, if you don't allow your ears to tune into the language, when you make a mistake and native corrects you, you won't be able to hear the difference. You'd be like, what do you mean? I'm saying it perfectly. And then the native is like, no, 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 you're not saying it perfectly. Say it like this. And you, and you don't hear the difference. So you see what I mean? You have to be able to hear the difference for this, to, for this auto correction to actually occur, right? If a native points a mistake to you that you made, you actually have to correct yourself because you had the ears. The reason why I was able to auto correct myself when I was mispronouncing la pronunciation is because I could hear it. I could hear my errors. I could be like, oh, it's not pronounced as that. It's pronounced as this. But if you cannot hear the difference, like I did, then you would never have to correct yourself. You know what I mean? So this is why it's important. If you guys want a perfect accent French, you guys have to literally just listen first, develop intuition, immerse yourself in YouTube videos. I recommend, my favorite YouTuber is Inox Doug. So watch a lot of his videos, watch his lives. I love watching Squeezy, uh, Locolier, uh, you know, those are amazing YouTubers. And they're, they're like the top YouTubers, like, you know. So if you look up like top 50 YouTubers, um, like top 50 French YouTubers, if you just look it up on Google, they'll pop up. And just go through the list, go through the videos, like immerse yourself in the language, guys. And I recommend creating a separate YouTube account just for French YouTube. So this is what I have, right? Like right now, this is my English YouTube, but I have a separate French YouTube account that I only dedicate, that I only go to, and I only switch over when I watch French content. So that I basically tell the algorithm that I only speak French in this account. And then with this account, I make sure that, you know, the, all the content is in either Japanese or English. So I basically tell the algorithm what languages I speak. So when I go to the French YouTube, the only videos that get recommended to me are French YouTube videos, all right? So, and that's how I was able to um, totally immerse myself because like, you know, you don't want to be, and, and you know, because once you switch to one YouTube account and you stay on there for like a period of time, then all your YouTube videos and all your like, you know, algorithms and all your, you know, dopamine hits will be in French. You know what I mean? So this is important because the goal is to immerse as much as possible in the language. And when you can have the algorithm feed you French content constantly, then you can just allow yourself to get fluent in French, right? And obtain a, a really good accent. You know what I mean? So yeah, you know, and this is one thing you guys have to keep in mind, you know? Um, even though my grammar isn't correct, like I, I would say like my grammar, like, okay, here's the thing. Like I, I, I asked a native speaker this when I was in France. I went to France recently, but I asked him like, you know, do I make mistakes? And he, and he says like, there'll be periods of when I speak where I'm like perfect in French, like perfect in terms of grammar, like and pronunciation, right? And then like, I'll slip up like a couple times. Like they'll be like, Parfois, uh, je, je dis des choses uh, pas trop, uh, tu vois, you know, like I'll, I'll say, uh, je dirais des choses uh, pas, you know, like I would say something, um, pas trop, uh, pas parfait, tu vois, c'était pas parfait uh, la façon que je parlais, tu vois, et, you know, it, it was like, it was like, I, I would like make semi mistakes, you know what I mean, and it was like, parfois, it was only sometimes, right, it wasn't all the time, but like, so, that's what I know, like, okay, so there's periods right now with my French where like, you know, I'm perfect for like, let's say like maybe 10 minutes. And then like suddenly I make like this mistake. So, you know, like I'm not native level, but like I'm really close if you know what I mean. Like I can be native level for like 10, 10 minutes and kind of pretend like I'm a native. But if I speak long enough and I don't know how to say certain things then I, like they'll find out that I'm not actually a native. So like, you know, this is kind of what I've been doing. Cause like, you know, I was speaking to people in France, like just randomly, right? And I have a Parisian accent, which means a Paris accent. My, my accent French is, um, a Paris, it's standard French. It's not Quebec, it's not, uh, you know, any of the Algerian, because like, you know, French, like, you know, there's a lot of Arabs in France, right? And they speak um, French with a different accent. I don't have that accent, I speak standard French. So in terms of my accent with French, like it's, it's, it's actually better than most people that speak, you know, Quebecois or that most people that speak like French, you know, Arab accent French, like, you know, so, even like someone who was a foreigner and who learned this like only like four years ago, like I already have better accents than like some natives, right? Well, like natives in terms of like, you know, their their first language was Arabic, you know, but they learned French like later. So they had that accent and like it's same with like um, African Americans in English. Like you can see how like black guys, like they, they talk, they have a different accent. Like, like, like the black community, African community, they have like a different accent when they speak English. So that's what I mean by like, you know, when French people have like an Arabic French accent. Right, I don't have that though because you know I never really immersed myself in that. But you know, for me, like you know, I would say like my accent's close to perfection um, when it comes to that. And it, it was all because of the listening, guys. Like I'm telling you, like guys, focus on listening. It, it's gonna really help you, you know. And um, and after that, you just focus on pronunciation. Okay. So 
Yeah. Um, but other than that, guys, uh, that's, uh, that's all I have for today, I guess. Um, I guess to recap, what you gotta do is, remember, immerse in the language. Just only focus on YouTube. Focus on YouTube French. Focus on literally just consuming native content in the language. And then, you know, what you do is you practice. So you basically, after you, you become fluent pretty much in French, right? You practice with a native speaker, right? And you pronounce the sounds, you know? So you're gonna, you're gonna try to pronounce the differences between tu and tu. And, um, and on, like on fait, and, uh, or like ou or, or u, like there's u and ou. So u, u, ou, u, ou. So there's u and there's ou. Okay, so just like learn how to like differentiate the differences between that, okay? So that when you say la rue, you can actually u, say it, instead of saying la roue. Because la roue means cartwheel in French, but la rue means street. La roue, la rue, no, no, it's, it's actually kind of hard. La, la roue and la rue. And it's the same with nu, so nu and nu. Nu, nu. Nu, nu. So there's, there's u and u. So like with the u, you have to push your lips a little bit out like u. And with u, you have to kind of push the lips back. So that's the difference. And with the r, you just have to figure that out, bro. You know, and know how to like doze it. Like, il faut doze un petit peu, tu vois? You have to like... Like, like you have to go r strong on certain words and you, have, and, you have, and you gotta go very light on certain words. Like Paris is very light. Rouge or graille, on est carrément là, là. You know, like you have to go like, you know, you have to like adjust like the, the usage of the throat here with the r, r, r sound, right? Um, I think they have it in, in, in Arabic too. Like I think um, in Arabic they say Maghrib, 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 right? They, they, they pronounce, they, they have the r and the r. I mean, that's Arabic, but anyway. So for French, that's what you do, guys, all right? Um, and you get a perfect accent. 